All right, here we are at Bethel Baptist Church in Amiga, Georgia, which is way, way, way south, and I love it. We dealt with par church builders. We dealt with the families that be a part of this church, and it's amazing when you get to start from scratch and get it all done the right way. Now, check it out. Up here in the choir loft, with the choir mics that are hanging, these are the new VCM3s. They have an open cardioid, 168 degrees, so it kind of picks up vocals like that, which is nice. The coolest thing about this is with this uh, half wall, you didn't have a place to put your monitors where they wouldn't kind of be in the way. So we did, you're probably seeing a cutaway of this now, the Impulse 261s, which I've told you about that speaker, has kind of a kidney shape, and it basically fills the whole choir loft up, but we hung them from above to keep echo out of it because churches are inherit to have echo. Now, for the mains, which is the congregation, they get the Sanctuary SSE 12s. I love these speakers. They hold 500 watts of power. They are only about 500 bucks. They come with a three-year warranty. I've never had a defective one. Not one. We probably have sold a hundred pair of them. And that's what gets the goodies out here. But because this church is so wide and so long, we also put some of those 261 kidney style speakers in the back to kind of create kind of a surround sound, if you will, for everybody because we know almost everybody sits in the back, right? Now, listen to this. Here is the sound bite. Justin, hit it for me. Amazing. Good. Now, that is amazing. Now, we got 5,000 watts of power in this church. I'm going to go back to the booth because JJ's doing a little upgrade from them and show you what we did there. We even did overflow in their nursery and in their foyer. I'm sure you've seen a cutaway now. We did flush mount clip speakers with a volume control for the obvious if it needs to be louder or quieter or whatever. And it's on a totally separate power source out there. So the coolest thing about this is you have all the audio. We didn't even talk about video. We have two eight-foot screens up top that are motorized that can go up in. As you see, we have scripture up. And I'm sure you're seeing a cutaway of the computer that controls all that as well. So they have audio. Audio, video, surround, what an environment. Let's, let, let's see what JJ's got to say. You're going to love this. All right, now we're in the sound booth. This is Justin, my son. Justin, just give us a layout of what we have going on. Sure. So here we have our computer. Our computer gives us our video, obviously. It lets mm -hmm. us show something separate on the screens from back here so we can still change what our pastor has to say and change our video without the congregation seeing us change. So they can do hymnal, scripture, any messaging they need Absolutely. to do, go straight to there, right? That's wonderful. Okay, go. Right here we have our Blu-ray player, so we can play Blu-rays, DVDs, CDs. We have a CD recorder so that all the people who accidentally missed on Sunday can still, um, can still listen to our service. We have a switcher so we can watch our Blu-ray or our computer. And then we have the good stuff. We have PV Sanctuary 32. This is the best sounding analog mixer you can buy. It's very beautiful, as you can tell. We have our wood and our white. We have four different auxiliaries, so all of our different people can hear separately. Our congregation can hear their own mix as far as um, the choir and the pastor can have all their separate mixes. We have our microphone bank here with our EQs and our overflow sound. And then we have plenty of Yamaha now power. Now this is the P-Series amplifier, 6,000 watts of power. out. That's a very big deal to us. We always overpower. Exactly, love it. It makes it last longer. Now in the realm of this, at the end of the day, a two-man can take care of this entire setup. Easily, very easily. So we have overflow. You're probably seeing a cutaway now of the nursery and the foyer, and they have their own volume controls, which you said is controlled from a separate Yamaha up here. Correct. And then, of course, today our upgrades is we're doing new lapel mics, and we're changing out lighting. Perfect. So this is how it's done, folks. Bethel Baptist Church in Omega. Awesome.